Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Terry. Welcome back to another edition of An Orchid a Day. Today, well, it's not really an unboxing, but it might very well be an unwrapping. But before I get into that, if you're looking for a channel that is all about orchids, about my collection, about what species I grow, which ones I want to grow, just my daily occurrences in my greenhouse, please hit the like button and subscribe. You're already here. You might as well. It doesn't cost you a thing. So today I got this shipment in that I'm very excited about. This is a plant that I used to own. I've only been without this plant maybe about a year, maybe going on two years, but I had one of these for several years and I got another one from the same company. This is an eBay dealer. It's, it's Botanica Limited out of Minnesota. No, not Minnesota. They're out of Missoula, Montana. And what I was going to show you was I was really worried about the, this plant because um, besides the fact that it's coming from Montana, I know it's a lot of snow, you know, in the Rockies in, around that area of the country. Plus here it is still in the 30s as a high and it gets low in the 20s at night. So I was really worried about them shipping this plant, but they shipped it without any questions. And I can see why. It was wrapped up in bubble wrap. Then inside of the bubble wrap, if I can get it out. Then inside of the bubble wrap, they have it also wrapped in paper. And then inside of the paper surrounding the plant is more shredded paper, which insulates the plant. So this is a mounted plant, and this is how it was sent to me. And yeah, I guess I do have it on back. Try to get this out delicately. You know what? I'm not going to try to be delicate. I'm just going to slide it the best way that I can. Actually, maybe it's this way. And instead, it was just some crepe paper. And it's surrounded in moss. I'm going to take it out. It's even further insulated with some moss, which I may, yeah, I'm going to keep the moss. But anyhow, there's the plant. Name of the plant is Erangus distincta. These plants are, of course, they are angricoids. They are in that family of Angricum, Heranthes, Gemellia, uh, those plants. From Madagascar. Uh, Distincta is, is from Malawi um, in Africa. It's along, it, it grows in trees as an epiphytic uh, monopodial species. It grows along uh, trees that are in, um, well, it grows in trees that are along rivers and are up in evergreen forests at sea level up to uh, about moderate altitude. So they do like hot, steamy conditions. They can take some intermediate conditions, and probably intermediate would be best. Uh, but they do like, they can stand some warmth. They like to be watered pretty much uh, year round, especially if they are mounted. And they do need to have a high humidity, especially in the summer, in the, during the growing season, they need at least 80, 85% humidity. In the wintertime, it drops significantly into the 60s, but, the summertime along with uh, the increase in water uh, which does go which which is dependent upon the temperature uh, the warmer that it gets the more water that they like and the roots should never be allowed to become desiccated or dried out in the winter time it does get less water but still w watered in a lot of mist as well to supplement um, What's another thing that I can tell you about these plants? Uh, besides the humidity, they appreciate shade. Uh, they do like a little bit more sun in the winter, but they still like it to be dappled, dappled shade. Um, they bloom uh, pretty much any time of the year, but mostly they bloom um, towards the um, Spring in the summertime, that's when their, their bloom time is. Um, I had one that, the one that, I, the one that I had bloomed, it actually bloomed towards the end of summer and the spike takes a long time, months to develop the buds and to open up. And mine actually ended up blooming while I was gone on vacation 
and when I came back I missed the flowers and the plant shortly died soon after actually it was in the spring when it bloomed because I was on vacation in Europe I was it was April April May but the, the flowers are very attractive they are the spike is pendant and they hang down in the typical fashion of orangus with the flowers going down the spike flowers are often um, they're white star-shaped typical flower uh, they're very night fragrant um, yeah this species is known to have uh, you know of course the leaves are not, I'm not sure what you would call that bilobed maybe and there's also little black spots on the leaves which are common to the species I don't really see any because I don't, it's not really that they're a little bit finer than that a little smaller but yeah that's my new orchid I'm very glad to have it in my collection as I said I got it from Botanica Limited and I had been trying I'd been looking for one for a long time and finally got one and I am so happy to have it and I hope you've enjoyed my video and I'll try to post some pictures of the the blooms but this is one that you should get if you're uh, any kind of a uh, angry coid and gracum lover um, they prefer to be mounted but you can grow them in a pot if you can't maintain the humidity but you might need to increase the watering to make sure that the humidity stays pretty uh, static around the plant um, and they do need that extra moisture uh, well what I was going to say was if you plant it up in a pot you need to make sure that whatever it's whatever it's potted in is very loose around the roots because the roots do not want to be sitting on anything damp they don't want to be crowded in the pot they want to almost dangle free or be loosely attached to whatever it is they're attaching to so you need to make sure that you pack it lightly in the pot and also make sure that you provide the humidity that's necessary and that's pretty much all it will take and you will be rewarded with some lovely blooms and again Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Enjoy your kids. Bye.